So it's the start of a brand new week, Motivational Monday, and we always love to kick Mondays off on a positive note, because if you do, you are setting yourself up for a great week ahead. Now, our motivational guest joining us this morning is from the Institute of, he's the director and founder of the Institute for the Enhancement of Health, Wellness, and Performance, Dr. Faiz Kirsten, and he's here to give you tools to change that blue Monday vibe that you might just be having. Dr. Faiz, thank you so much. Nice to have you on the show this morning. Thank you very much for I having me. I hope the early me. morning is treating you well. Fantastic. <laughs> Feeling really good. Good to be here. Thank you very much. So very interesting this morning you have six bodies of knowledge or steps as you would like to call it that you're going to be sharing with us throughout the show in terms of you know reaching that optimum goal of your health wellness and performance so let's start with the first two where where's the first two and what is it well look these are six bodies of knowledge that I've identified over the years to help people get to that ultimate goal as you say of mm. health optimal health wellness and performance and there's a lot of overlap between these bodies of knowledge but I've sort of categorized them into six distinct uh, mm. stages I call them um, we live in a quantum world, everything's interconnected, but if you understand them separately, it makes it clearer to understand right. if you separate them. So the first two are the subconscious mind and the science of goal achievement and goal setting, goal right. setting and goal achievement. So why do, you have to, why do you have to know what the subconscious mind is? You have to know exactly. why the subconscious mind is because the subconscious mind controls more than 95% of your life. That's, that I've heard before, yeah. <laughs> you know, we think we're living our life consciously, but we're really living our life subconsciously. So everything that's programmed into our subconscious really controls our life. Mm -hmm. So you get in the car in the morning, you don't really consciously think about what you're doing. You just put the key in the ignition, put your foot on the gas pedal, and off you go without consciously thinking what you've actually done. You've just mm -hmm. done it automatically. And that's because of implicit memories or programs that are programmed into your subconscious mind. So one of the most important things about the subconscious mind are your subconscious beliefs. Mm -hmm. And I see beliefs as instructions, instructions which are, which are programmed into your subconscious and then which, uh, which will direct your life, in which way your life should actually pan out. So they influence what you do and they really are derived from the information you acquire over the years and the experiences that you have mm -hmm. and basically once those instructions are programmed in your subconscious, they basically then mm. direct your life. And so it's important to have the right programs in your subconscious, uh, mm. otherwise your life may take the but wrong But it comes way. down to you programming that into your subconscious by self-affirmations maybe every morning? Correct, wow. correct. You've got to take active steps to put in the right programs in your subconscious if you want to get to a goal, for example. If you don't have those programs, those instructions, so like a software programmer writes instructions to, say, to tell a program, a computer program, how to operate and how it should run, so those beliefs that you hold tell you how your life should pan out, you know, yeah. how your life should run and operate. Yeah. So if you want to reach a goal and you don't have the right instructions, you'll never reach the goal, yeah. for example. So exactly find out what is your goal, first of all, exactly. what could be your goal, and yeah. then take the necessary steps to program Correct. that into your subconscious. Correct, yes. All right, yes. so how, how would you advise people to go about something like that? Um, Just in terms of having a more positive day? Well, you got to use reprogramming techniques or technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most powerful technologies is something called emotional freedom techniques or EFT. A very powerful technique to reprogram yeah. the subconscious. Sort of dissipates the stress response within seconds sometimes. Mm. So if you're feeling stressed on a Monday morning, yeah. you know, just use EFT, that'll quickly yeah. uh, dissipate the stress yeah. response, for example. Keep telling you it's a fantastic day. It's yeah, a great visualization, day. a very powerful yeah. technique and brainwave entrainment, very powerful technology that you can use, a reprogramming technology that you can use to reprogram your subconscious stuff, and make you feel better. That's it, Dr. Vies, thank you so much. I mean, we're looking forward to spending the rest of the morning with you as well. And I don't think a lot of people understand the powerfulness of the subconscious. Absolutely. Great stuff. Absolutely. So stay tuned with us. Dr. Fahiz will be spending the rest of the morning with us, telling you how you can turn this day and week and even this year and the rest of your life to much, much more positive, healthy, wellness and performance-wise. Right now, though, over to some very cool tunes with an interesting band called The Fridge. Let's go find out.